everybody, welcome back to Northern Land. Please, abiding advice after birth. Plus, we only lose one son. Quarantine, maybe? Hopefully? My voice doesn't get any higher than that. Um, we got Cursed Eye, one DYE. No, no, no one die. We already had one die. X2 BC. Stats seem okay. Cursed Eye is always a little bit funky, of course. Um, I'm trying to, you know, maybe Cursed Eye and Isaac's cup. <laughs> I forgot. Jar of Tears. Hey, a cup is just more logical there. Um, I don't think there's like a huge synergy, but there might be like a little something going on with that. I don't know. I don't think so. I think I just don't hear the sound from Isaac's Jar of Tears that often. So I think it's good, even though the only reason I don't hear it is because of the fact that I never take this item. So as of right now, I would say, uh, I mean, I think it's fine. I think this run is, is in a completely acceptable tenable position where, where we really have very little to worry about, honestly. Mostly because of our decent stats, but also really our HP is in a great spot, so I love it. Um, anyway, how you guys doing? It's Monday. Nice, sunny Monday um, in the world of British Columbia, Canada, at least. Hope you guys are having a, a good day, as, as good as it can be, all things considering. Um... And just really, like, getting a lot of work done. That's really what it comes down to. Started the new Golden Goblet, Call of Duty, Battle Royale. Which I understand, if there... Ooh, goodbye. If there was one phrase that would annoy the maximum number of people simultaneously, I really feel like the phrase Call of Duty, Battle Royale would probably be close to the top. But I'm here to tell you, I thought I was out of the Battle Royale game. I, I thought they could, you know, after playing a little bit more PUBG, I thought there was no way. Like, I'm just too bad to enjoy Battle Royales is what I thought. And then, I played a little bit of this. A little bit of that started with a umpy. And all of a sudden, I was like, what the heck? This isn't right. I'm having a great time. <laughs> it's a really good game. Now, if you don't want to play it for whatever reason, trust me when I say that, I completely understand. Um, the greatest compliment I can give it, without a doubt, is that in order to get the textures to work um, for me, I had to uninstall and reinstall my video card drivers, and it was worth it. Honestly, just straight up, 100% actually worth it. I'm having a good time. Not for everybody, but a lot of fun as well. You can't be mad at me for playing a... Um, a mass-marketed Battle Royale, and I'll tell you why. I'm also playing, uh, against all conventional wisdom, a Mega Man Battle Network-inspired deck-building roguelite where your brain has to work at 500 actions per microsecond just to understand what's happening. So you, you, you can't be mad. I'm, it's just science. Just. Blank card justice is absolutely good enough. And now, oh, dude. So good. I was gonna say, like, a battery charge is pretty sick for us as well, but... Okay, so this is, like, it's just a really, really strong run right now. Just a, just a high utility run. Uh, blank card strength. That sucked. Um, blank card strength is a little touchy. I'm trying to think about how I feel about blank card strength. Um, don't shoot me, okay? It's, it's so highly rude. And uncalled for. It is... Re you know what? We should carry the strength card for our deal with the devil. Um, I mean, we could get to that tinted rock. If only there weren't spikes. I think we should carry it for the deal with the devil. Because we could pretty easily get a deal with the devil for free. Um, or, or for half price, maybe even. But... Don't quote me on the half price one. As you know, sometimes if you have one heart, there's a two heart deal. You, you get the idea. But I don't know if that actually applies in this strength situation. Well, we're not getting something for free, but Succubus is definitely something you want no matter what. Uh, and a second secret room has already been discovered. What about a regular secret room? I'm telling you, again, I'm, I'm treating these... We can get there in three. I'm treating these Isaac runs right now as a tryout. Knowing that we just lost recently. A lot of people won't believe in this skill. They're going to believe that I'm going to slump. 
And I'm here to tell them. Just, just by doing this room, I hope you've realized I don't have control over that, but I'm at least gonna try my darndest. So what am I, what am I fishing for now? I don't know, honestly. Um, I think I think what I'm fishing for is, uh, yeah, sure, like an HP upgrade would be pretty sick. We didn't get it, but you know, if we did get it though, it would have been pretty sick. I guess hey, we we could probably afford to go to the curse room, and really all we're looking for to put this run in in 10 out of 10. You love to see it. You love to see it. 10 out of 10 guaranteed win levels is uh, a renewable spirit heart engine. Like a, a hero font card would, would do it for sure. So I think that this must be our secret room. And we're done. That's fine. Anyway, yeah, it's been a good day. Uh, can't really complain about really much of anything at all. Feeling good in the neighborhood. Is that Olive Garden? I bet if you gave me... Um, corporate slogans. International brand slogans. I would perform better than average. I know that sounds like a weird flex. I watched a lot of American TV as a child. I'm very familiar with Olive Garden. Applebee's. TGI Fridays. Shakey's Pizza, California Pizza Kitchen. A lot of a lot of pizza chain restaurants. I mean Pizza Hut, Domino's, Sparrow, etc., etc. You don't need me to keep listening to them. I'm sure you're familiar with several of them as well. Okay, maybe. Oh, we gotta try. I'm I'm happy we tried, honestly. I I, I'm the master of walking diagonally. I don't I, again, as long as the episode is just gonna be weird flexes. I gotta tell you, I'm one of the best diagonal walkers in the game. Possibly the best. And I feel like I can say that in confidence because I don't watch anybody else play Isaac on the regular. So, honestly, if anybody's better than me, there's no way that I could possibly even know. So, ignorance is bliss. No thank you. Very good and easy floor. Could leave if we wanted, but that wouldn't be doing the little things right. If you want to do the little things right, we're going to tough this one out a little longer. We got a secret room with a little bit of money. Sung to the tune of John Mulaney's A Plain Plate of Noodles with a Little Bit of Butter. Hold on. We have a golden key. Did you know, St. Victor was telling me yesterday, the man is a, a, a font. And this is a, I think that actually works. Not like Times New Roman, but he is like a fountain. He is a font of Isaac Knowledge that I did not even ever deign to think could be not just relevant but like I, I didn't even know it was possible he he hit me up on discord the other day he said did you know and i'm just like i'm gonna stop you right there the answer is probably no but did you know that if you get two brimstones there's a synergy and i was like you know what i did not know that then i thought about it for a second i was like how the heck did you get two brimstones you know what he hit me with i think he had the victory lap you know you know what else he hit me with the other day he was like, did you know, if you have Mama Mega and a Golden Bomb, then Mama Mega gets two uses instead of just one? I had no clue whatsoever. Apparently, if you have a Golden Bomb and Mama Mega, you can use it twice instead of merely once. Even though it doesn't have a charge bar indicator on it. Yo! And you get the battery charge on that one. You love to see it. Justice is paying... Incredible dividends here. Um, just, just bomb it. Yeah, okay. I'll take it. We have, we have euthanasia. You guys remember POD? Probably, probably. That's a very interesting room. That's a very interesting room indeed. I would like to get a raw justice card. Or a, let me rephrase. I would like to get a battery charge. Either via a charge or via the number of rooms necessary to get there. And we didn't. Um, so I'm going to hit you with some sauce. I think we should justice here. And then blow this up. Just work with me on this one. This, this is going to get a little funky and you might disagree with me. By this... 
Oh, I, I just hate it to the point where I, where I will actually drop it right off the bat. We should have just bought the compass instead. But the reason I didn't is because I'm actually going to reroll the whole run right now. And it's not merely motivated by Zane's self-interest. It's not a little demon on my shoulder going, Hey, if you don't do this, the audience isn't going to like you. It's because we're one away from spun. And on top of that, I mean, losing Succubus will hurt, but we'll also lose Cursed Eye. So we didn't get spun. And all of our stats got worse. So that that's pretty bad. <laughs> uh... But we do have the pencil. We do have a, a great amount of HP. I would call this a whiff. For sure. But it is what it is. We took a chance. Made a change. And break away. That's uh, Kelly Clarkson. Nobody's favorite Kelly Clarkson song. That's It's not because it's a bad song necessarily. Um... It's more because everybody's favorite Kelly Clarkson song is, uh... Say, uh, wait. <laughs> Say It Ain't So? I meant Since You've Been Gone. There you go. Infested. Luck up, that hurts. Down. That tears down, that's like a slap in the face. That That's salt in the wound. Looking like a fool with your salt in the wound. Got your tears down low. Damage pretty bad. Looking like a fool with the salt on your wound. There you go. But on the bright side, the run, albeit worse than it was to begin with, is still pretty okay. Um, it's definitely going to slow down a little bit, if not a lot. Um, but I think it, it has all the skeleton of, of a functional and successful run. Um, what does it need to get there? Honestly, like Pyro, you're going to laugh. Wait, what? <laughs> Would actually help me out here. Wait, what would be a pretty killer get? I'm trying to respect that item more. Because I realized, and the, you know, when I was young, I was a fool. Now that I'm uh, ancient, I'm very, very intelligent. Um, and humble, too. But, uh... Instead of arguing with the audience over whether or not wait what is good or trash, when I think it's trash and they think it's good, it's so much easier to just be like, you're right, it's great, and then try to like it. And even if you don't, just keep pretending that you like it, and you know, your, your PR game kind of improves as a result. So, um, wait what I think would really hit the spot right now. I think it'd be a, I think it'd be a killer addition to the lineup. Indispensable. Full health? I, I mean, I just said that, but sure. Okay, so, so far, um, I mean, the the real negative of this floor right now is getting the shop. I think it's a range down or something? I can't remember. I think it is range down. Um, the real negative of this floor is getting a shop when we have 33 cents that only had greed in it. If we can just hold out to the next floor. You know, usually we could play Isaac 2013 strategies when Rebirth was but a glint in Edmund McMillan's eyeballs. Um, we could just go to the shop, buy blue or red candle, and then like win the game. That blue or red candle, very easy currency driven way to, to get over whatever damage problems may ail you. And God's Flesh, not a, not a good pickup for us here. Just full stop. Doesn't give us what we need. Great dodging, though. Great dodging, dude. Infested. We could... You know what? I'm gonna verp infested. Just because we're in a pinch right now. It's not a killer pickup, to be honest. We could have verped something much more valuable. But really, the way I tend to use verp is by... Forgetting I even had it, and then just throwing it on the ground after never using it, and picking up something else like a rune instead. So, um, I think all things considered, we can definitely, we can live with the fact that we got a modest use out of it. Okay, we're about to shoot a uh, pencil, so be ready for it. I don't want to use all my bombs. Oh, really? Neither of those were the secret room? That is... That's staggering to me. Alright, so I think we got Pencil right away. There, it was on our second shot. 
That's fine. That's fine. As long as you get the explosion in there, you're, you're, we're happy campers. Okay, 40% deal with the devil would go a long way. It's okay. I'm, I'm not too bent out of shape. This next floor is going to determine a lot for us, though. Now, I will say, you might say, NL, what happened to doing the little things right? Well, I always try to draw a distinction in Isaac. You can take risks. Um, and if the risk pans out, that doesn't necessarily mean, mean you made the right decision. And if the risk doesn't pan out, that doesn't mean you necessarily made the wrong decision. Because it's, it's, it's variable, right? Like in the same sense that, yeah, we rerolled our run and it got worse. There was a, you know, probably close to an even money chance we would reroll our run and it would get better. I, I'm still not convinced that we made the wrong decision. Right now, it's horrible. However, um, the fact that we are not going to have to have Cursed Eye once... Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The fact that we're not going to have to have Cursed Eye when we get down to the later floors where it's like potentially devastating is uh, is a huge bonus. That That's a big win for us. And we'll check it. We, we got the HP to check it. We got even more HP to check it in the future if we wanted to. So, you know, I, I'm just, I'm keeping in mind that there's a little, you know, God is rolling dice in the background. You know, it's like when you hear thunder, that's that's God rolling the dice. Uh, actually, that's the God's bowling. Uh, actually, it's the sound of uh, lightning colliding. An old mother cries. Pale blue colored eyes. At the sun, the joys are behind. Heim. You know that one? Oh, my feeling coming back again. That one? It's, I'm not going to call it a classic, but it is old. <laughs> Not all old things are classics. For example, the Charlize Theron movie, Aeon Flux. Not a, uh, not a classic. Not a classic by any... One of the worst reviewed movies of my lifetime, actually. Yo, that's a very nice two of diamonds. I don't know if I want the brown cap. Yeah, I think I don't, actually. Dead Sea Scrolls. Well, it's not the item you want to see. And then you go dot, 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 dot. Where, where is he going to bring it back? No, there's no bringing it back. It's just, uh, it's just not the item you want to see. <laughs> but we're, we got so much freaking money, dude. If we could just find a shop. Like a rolling thunder chasing the wind. I probably listen to that song. I bet I listened to that song 10 times a day in the early 2000s. On purpose. I was listening to a lot of good stuff. I listened to that, then I'd be like, oh, I've had too much lightning crashes. Put some Creed on. My sacrifice. It's embarrassing, but like, the soundtrack to my 8th grade. I mean, it's not that embarrassing. I was in 8th grade. For sure is um, Avril Lavigne's Complicated. She was from the local area. So, like, I mean, it was a popular song, but the fact that she was local definitely took it to the next level. Um, that. Nickelback's How You Remind Me. That's fun. Let's go. We didn't hit our shop. We gotta hit our shop. Um, Nickelback's How You Remind Me. And then, like, Creed's My Sacrifice. Those three songs, if you put them on, I'm back in 8th grade. I just want to say hello again. Anyway, it was not a great era necessarily for, for popular alternative rock music. But then again, I was also like 13 years old. So, you know. Hello? You're still alive, huh? I'm not going to take too much flack over it. Honestly, if I met a 13-year-old with great musical tastes, I would probably be like more weirded out i think we'll just take remote detonator honestly like at 13 you're not supposed to have good musical taste don't if you're watching this and you're 13 and you're like i'm bucking the trend and maybe maybe but like but like probably not um regardless 
I think it's, you know, you're supposed to be listening to garbage when you're 13. Because you don't, you don't have taste, you just have other people's taste. I know I've said it before, but like... I don't, I don't, I don't think I would trust a middle schooler who's like, you know, talking to me about my bloody Valentine. I would be like, you're not supposed to be on 4chan at your age. How'd you find out about this album? Okay, so they, we're getting a little bit too musical with the jokes today. I hate it when they sing. You know what? I've decided we're going to go up now. We got a 100% chance of a deal with the devil. We have a 0% chance of boss rush. Yo, the pencil hits are so good. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what, 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 what am I doing? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Forgot we had a remote detonator. You love to see it. Honestly, we can save the rest of our bombs. I think it's an extremely good yield. Like, I think if you... Meet like a 10 year old with great musical tastes. You're just like, okay, so your parents have great musical tastes. You should still, I think it's an important part of the growth period for every individual to go through a, through a period where your parents are like, hey, check out this Paul Simon album, Graceland. It's, it's really good. It introduced uh, South African polyrhythms to a North American audience. He may not have paid anybody involved with its production. I can't remember. There was like some kind of controversy. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful move on my part. Um, that doesn't change the fact that it, that's a sublime album. But um, you're like, no thanks, mom. I'm listening to Freaky by Broken Side. You know, and you're like, these guys are gonna be renowned as like the new Beatles, but only if the Beatles were good and not crappy. Hilarious. Um, you know what? Let's get, let's get funky. Let's get freaking funky now. Give me a cheap tears upgrade. That's an incredible pickup. It's a spider. I got hit by a freaking spider. Imagine that. Um, okay, let's let's get some rerolls going. Dark Prince's crown doesn't do much for us yet. I think glitter bombs are, are good enough, and then we can toss some of those in here. And none of that strikes my fancy. Dark bomb definitely strikes my fancy, but let's fish for Ah <laughs> you fool! What are you doing? Why would I just get Dark Bum, when if I get a two of diamonds here, I could get Dark Bum and a shot speed upgrade? What a fool. What a fool I was mere moments ago. That's doing the little things wrong, but you know what? Even on my streak, I did the little things wrong now and then for certain. The only thing you can real I do is uh, recognize that everybody makes mistakes. Once you start making avoidable mistakes, you say to yourself, self, stop that. And once you've stopped it, the world's your burrito, dude. Like, that was an avoidable mistake. I don't know what I was thinking getting in there. You know what I was thinking? This run's taking a long time. <laughs> it's, a, it's a selfish ask, but it's, uh, it's not even taking that long, honestly. We're still quite early here. So just be smart. It's definitely worth dropping some bombs to look for good cards here. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm pretty happy to have uh, the Emperor. That's going to basically skip a whole floor for us. Um, but losing out on Dark Bum, which thankfully is now not going to happen, but only by the grace of this boss fight here. Um, losing out on Dark Bum would be like truly... A staggering amount of disrespect to, to myself and the game. We have not been to our item room yet either. But here, you know, at 22 cents, we could buy something else and then try to make the... I'm just joking. I'm just messing with you. I'm just trying to get a rise out of you, Vanessa. It's from Austin Powers. You already knew it was from Austin Powers. You don't need me to tell you it's from Austin Powers. Um, I was trying to get a half-price item. It's okay. Alright, let's do our final bit of exploration. I've learned a valuable lesson. Don't re-roll. 
Unless your run is trash. I re-rolled in a speculative sense, and I, I regret every second of it. Spider Baby isn't even that sick for us here. Why did I not get hit on the first walk there? I think I... Is it the... The, the egg is protecting me? Ha ha ha. I think the egg is protecting me from some of the damage. Yo, how many strength cards are we getting here? We're gonna walk out of here and be like... Frail. Yo, I can live with that. We do have full health pills. But in theory, this thing should pay out before that becomes an issue. Like, that's why I said, like, in theory, but... On the bright side, we got a lot of spiders. <laughs> okay, what, what would you do here? Probably go back for the full health pill. That seems, that seems... Hey! That was mine! Actually, gonna go check this out. And I believe we have fed Dark Bum another uh, heart there, which is good. I, I mean, I wanted it, but it's not, you know, we're just putting it in the bank to get spirit hearts out of it later, so there, there's value there. Um, this is way longer than I expected to spend on this floor. But I'm still feeling good. You know, still, still feeling fresh, feeling hip, feeling with it. A tucka, 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 and all that. Um, definitely, we want this. We did not get it. You know what? I'll just buy it. I'll just buy it then. I just don't want to put myself so low that if we get a whiff here and a whiff on the deal with the devil and a whiff on Necropolis One after we use the Emperor card, that we're gonna like truly be in a dangerous position. We got Rainbow Baby, so that's like a whiff. Full stop. Thank you, I really appreciate the placenta on that one. I'll take things I didn't expect to say until October 2020 for 100, Alex. <laughs> you can tell I haven't watched Jeopardy in, you know, a few months. I'm pretty sure 100 is like what the lowest value of Clue was in like 1990 before inflation. I mean, there was still inflation, but even though the inflation was... had values lower than they are now. Not to say that it You know, you get the idea. I'm not an economist. Or an eco economist, even. Okay, this is a big one. Deal with the devil. Um, I forgot we already saw this. Um, I think we definitely do like a Thame well enough. And in theory, this is where we should expect things to start moving a little bit faster. We will womb card it up. Is Skolex, which is uh, only minimally problematic at worst. Not a huge fan of my play on that one. You know what? It is what it is. We really... I just have to remind myself, don't throw any HP away. It's, it's sad that I have to remind myself of that every now and then, but... It's the honest to goodness truth. Sometimes you see a, a decent chunk of HP like we got... Oh, come on. Like we got right here. And you think to yourself, we don't have anything to worry about. If you take damage, you take damage. It doesn't really matter. We got something to worry about. This is the HP we're going to have later as well. So 99 bombs. I mean, we're in really like a, a weird situation here. Um, we should, probably shouldn't have popped that, to be honest. But with 99 bombs... That are also glitter bombs. We're probably not going infinite... But we at least have the ability to get ourselves, just by sheer force of will, like whatever consumables we're interested in, or might be lacking in a moment, except maybe spirit hearts. Now, there are going to be some of you out there that say you had 98 bombs, and yet you picked up a double bomb when you could have placed one bomb down and gotten two bombs in return, plus whatever consumable you would have gotten. I'm here to tell you, if you anticipate that we are going to use all 99 of these bombs, which is what we would have to do in order for that to actually have an effect, you are INSANE! 
I hope we don't have to use all 99 of these bombs or something's gone wrong in a devastating fashion. Yo, let's go. I don't mind. Cracked Crown is an incredible pickup for us. It's enough to be excited about just on its lonesome. Okay, so what, what's the what's the game winning game plan here? Um, at this point, is really just maintain your sanity until the end of the run. It's one of those runs is definitely not even close to being a train wreck. Like, I, I had a train wreck within the last two weeks, as you know, that two-parter. And the thing is, like, on a train wreck, every room is getting your anxiety going. Let's go. Every single room is like, this room could kill me, or it could contribute to my death in a meaningful and effective way, even regardless of my performance. Um, this one is not even close to being on that level, but it's just a little on the slow side. It doesn't take much for us to get over that. Like a 75% chance of a deal with the devil, for example, actually giving us... Well, now that I think about it, we're not really expecting much there because we did take chaos, and, and that's me. I took chaos. The game didn't force chaos upon me. Not in a literal sense, at least. I mean, it did put it right there for the low price of 15 cents. So, what am I supposed to do? Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, it's a very familiar looking room. Let's be honest, at 30 keys, we probably don't need any more of that. Just let, let me out, oh, you genius! <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. You know what, I was thinking that it would be a fun time. I was and you, I was not wrong. I had a good time on that. What happened to remote? Oh, just roll me. Who cares? I don't even know what we got going on anymore. Look, I know I said don't ever re-roll. That was stupid. Don't ever re-roll. However, if you've started re-rolling, never stop. Uh, ooh, I don't know if that's real static tears or it is not, but it is is definitely not bad. Oh my god, careful, careful! Like I said, I, this is my audition. I'm really hoping to do the little things right and convince you that I'm sticking around for the long haul, <laughs> and I'm not gonna be making any zany plays or whatever. Sure, sure, sure. Why not? I don't know. We have eleven lives. And we're guppy. And we have brimstone. But our stats are bad. I don't know what's happening, but I think this is great. I definitely do not think we got a bad thing going. I'm just a little bit confused about the thing that we got going in general. Oh, okay. We did have sad bombs. That makes perfect sense. So we get a full of brimstone charge anytime we place a bomb down. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so that's... I, I wouldn't be sweating much of anything right now. You're just lucky. Like, let me just tell you straight up. You're very lucky that you went incorporeal. If you were of a corporeal nature there, you would have been... Oh, it would be over for you, mister. Let me just tell you. How did you live? Okay, I'm, I have to say... Certainly, I'm, I'm embarrassed with the damage I'm taking. I still think it's quite literally impossible to die, but I'm also definitely willing to admit that I have lost my mind on this run. I no longer know, um, I, I no longer feel tethered to the run that we have. All I know is I'm, I'm on a very simple routine in my brain right now. We walk into a room, we release the arrow key, and we press E. And if we do that, the enemy should die. But I am, I am adrift in the conscious world right now. We do have Guppy Brimstone. So, again, I'm not saying we're going to lose. In fact, I'm saying quite the opposite. It's unimaginable that we would lose. 
However, I don't know if I have much of an imagination on this one anymore. I'm just, I'm lost in the ether. Yo, I do like Eden's Blessing, though. There, you brought me back. And Verp? And Telepills? Why not? It's weird. And if weird's the name of the game, we might as well quintuple down right now. Oh, dude, I didn't even realize. We shouldn't have second telepills. We were actually so much further ahead than I thought we were. Um, assuming that's not a dead end up there, but... Anyway, I was gonna say, we got good luck stats. You know what? Sure, why not? Let's get real funky with it. Ah, uh, what did... I don't even know what we got here. We're still guppy no matter what, so it, essentially the run cannot get screwed up. Iron bar. Um, well, you know what? If you've been asking for Zane, you got your Zane right here. What's wrong, comments? I thought you was keeping it zany. I thought that's what you wanted. They say if you want streaks, watch Simvicta. But don't forget, he's got curses too. Of course we're gonna reroll again. I mean, this run's good. It might be like an 11 out of 10. But we're looking for an 1100 out of 10. This is not it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't think we'll get one more reroll. I don't know. Actually, maybe this is extremely good. I don't know, dude. Like... I'm just hitting buttons, okay? I think we've become a Zazel. So, really, like, somehow we've turned Eden into a Zazel. We got Brimstone, Guppy. We, we got a lot of stuff going on, all right? We're just, basically, we're going to finish this run, and then when it's over, we're going to go open this item just to see what we got, okay? And then we're going to leave, because this one was just off the, off the planet. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps me out a great deal. It's the single best way. Pardon me to send a message to YouTube that says, hey, I enjoy this guy's content. By clicking the like button, if you watched the whole episode and enjoyed it, you'll help me grow. You'll help me make uh, make more people eggheads throughout the world, and uh, I would appreciate it. How about that? For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!